Alright, so today's D Day. So, yesterday, me and my dad got the meter towels in. Um, the cavity was quite free, to be fair, so it wasn't going to be too bad. But I overordered on the meter towels by a little bit, but it's not a problem. It can be used in other jobs, so it's not going to waste. So, I'm just making something. A breakfast and a brew before I shuttle the power off to the house. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> so, but there's a hitch. Beautiful day, and I'm stuck inside doing a fucking fuse board change. It's great. Oh, yeah, this black flex is being used for the outside of our drops. So, yeah, so this fridge, I've got limited time on it, so. Great. I think that would only last four hours this fridge, plus it's quite sunny and warm out, whereas that fridge can last a bit longer. Don't understand why, but so I'll prep that and then we'll go from there, which is great. So yeah. better get a charge battery. Um I'm using my NICADS ones for the radio um, just because my other batteries are nearly flat so yeah. this ring went pop the other day it still works so I don't know what the fuck was caused it to go bang but they're hefty bang and all so great so this is what we got it's been relabeled a few times by the looks of it, so oh well, never mind. Old and not needed anymore. Oh. And there's the uh, manufacturer's name if you wanted it. I thought it was a crab tree because it's got crab tree MCBs in it. I don't know. Have a book. Oh, I don't know where I saw crab tree. Um, but yeah. Wish us luck, this is gonna be a bastard. I just see it. That's the main fuse has been removed to the purpose of changing the fuse board. It will be resealed after. So, yeah, not too bad. Only 60 amp fuse, but I'm future proofing it, like I said earlier. So, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so I'm doing videos as I'm going along just for the hell of it. Um, so this is the the main frames of it all really. So you've got your MCBs here, obviously various different amperage ratings. You've got 32, so that's for like ring mains, cookers that are on 6 mils and stuff like that. 16 amps usually used for radial circuits and 6 amps are for like lighting. So what happens is, this is just for an example, this is your live and neutral main incomer. Live is on this side, the neutral is on this side obviously. This goes through this RCD main switch, this is what this is. 30 milliamp RCD main switch, I think it's rated at about 80 amps, yes. And uh, so this copper buzz bar comes out the bottom and does this neutral buzz bar here. And then the live comes along this copper buzz bar and then taps off to feed every MCB. Um, I wouldn't touch that if it was working, like in the like in like running, like still switched on, like like this, like all of them switched on, for example, I wouldn't touch that copper buzz bar. You'll probably die. No, you will die. Because that's 80 amps through a cartridge fuse, which is what I showed earlier, and uh, that will not stop. It'll just keep going until you either pop it or someone pulls you off it. That's pretty much what happens. So yeah, I'll be stripping the copper off of this and all that. I will be probably keeping hold of these MCBs. I'll probably might see if they're worth anything on Flea Bay. Probably are, probably not, I don't know. But I've never seen this brand before. It's like some kind of, uh, uh, don't know. Brand I've never seen before. 
So that's how the fuse board sits at the minute. Gutted near enough. The main fuse has been pulled because that's what I showed you earlier. Uh, just got to disconnect a few things and then we can uh, work on pulling the cables out the top of the cavity, hopefully. Yeah, and it's full of the cavity insulation, which is uh, cotton. Bloody annoying. But uh, yeah. So yeah, so different buzz. Oh shit! Different buzz bars do different uh, different styles. This one actually screws on. The screw actually clamps down onto this buzz bar. You got other buzz bars like the Hager fuse board that I'm putting in has teeth like this. So the circuit breaker sits on the tooth and then fixes uh, clips onto the DIN rail. And I've seen others where the DIN rail is next to the, or one of them, or a different fuse, MCB, has a little prong out the bottom and the buzz bar's hidden behind and all you got, uh, the metal sheeting and all you got is a little slot that the breaker, that little tooth, sticks in. That's how it gets its power. Different, uh, this board's have different uh, power designs, if you know what I mean. Well, we've started to get some cables out. Fuse board's completely ripped out. The uh, backing plate's gone, and this is what we've been left with. A fuck off big hole in the wall. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to try and do now is these meter towels, I'm going to pull them out of the wall, because uh, it's quite freely moving in there, which is quite impressive. I thought it was going to be quite tight, but it is freely moving, which is good news. Uh, the only thing is, the cables all wrapped around it. So when I try and pull it, it's going to come with it. Like all these cables. But they shouldn't do because they're all up there, hopefully. But yeah, so, not bad. I'll go, uh, put the camera somewhere and I'll let, let, let it roll for a bit. So let's see what we can get. <sighs> I suppose I could move the cable out of the way, but it's just me being fucking lazy. Now that, I'll back up a bit. They ain't coming. They ain't coming out. Towels gone, going in my pocket for scrappy scrap. So, 42 minutes has resulted to this, everything's gone. Now, here comes the tricky part pulling them all out. That's gonna be fun. Wish us luck, I'm gonna need it. All right, so it's what time is it? 12 41, and this is the progress I've made so far. Um, it's not great, it's fucking shit. Um, I'm guessing that, oh dear, this has been a nightmare, absolute fucking nightmare. I'll explain, just let me put this stuff down. So, we've got 2.5 going to God knows where, I can't pull it up. And then these two, this 1.5 which is probably the lights down here and then the 2.5 which goes to God knows where. Uh, I can't pull them up because I thought it was weird because it got about about a, half a metre, if that, a quarter between that brick and that brick and then it just wouldn't come. So there's me yanking on them up there and they wouldn't come out. I thought, what the hell's going on here then? So I thought, oh, maybe they're getting stuck on the back of the meat cabinet. So I took this little brick out 
and sure enough they're still there. I thought, oh, what's going on here then? So I pulled one of these out and then offered it up to whereabouts it would be and it showed it roughly about there so I blasted it and it was the end of the all of the cable bunch had stuck down here and it was these three fuckheads keeping them all from moving. So now I've got to go get some more cable, put some JBs in and uh, oh what a bloody nightmare. So it's really been an hour less than what it says on the clock, if you can actually see it at all. No. In your own time. So it's about three and a half, half three, an hour after that, so it could have probably about four and a half hours. Now what a fucking joke this job's been. I've had to extend near enough every single bloody cable in the, that was in here because I couldn't get them out of the fucking cavity as I explained so I had to join them and extend them so that's a bloody nightmare and nothing's been going my way whatsoever the cables I pulled out of there originally have all been fucked because there's a sharp edge on the edge of that brick so I've had to join the cables through because they were damaged because of that so Oh, so much for it being an easy fuse board change. Fair play to the electricians that managed to rewire this place when they rewired it. Absolute joke. Oh, dearie me, what a fucking stress job this has been. But we're slowly getting there now. It's one step at a time. Fucking plus has been absolute dog wank, but there's nothing you can do. Oh, I suppose I better carry on running on limited time and daylight. Oh, this day's been so stressful, but we're getting there slowly. Probably about 50% done, so it's not too bad. Getting there eventually. Yeah, right on.